and gentlemen that is the four c's strategy of curiosity curation commercial and commence can we request rishi to take up the stage for sure hi rishi very very good afternoon to you and with that uh, i have to tell you that uh, the lovely work that he does has helped his clients to achieve 10x growth in their businesses extra round of applause for him for this one all right yes. super duper let me start with uh, rishi from your perspective i think you 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 guys are millennials from most likely except me and mandar we are dated mandar no uh, uh, gen z yeah gen z okay so in your definition how do you define a legacy uh, software a le le legacy application right uh, so first of all thank you nexgen for providing this opportunity that i get an opportunity to speak about ourselves as a ferocious and to talk about absolutely apps modernization as well i hope this discussion will enlighten everybody some other way so about a bit about ourselves as well first so we are a marktech company or you can say a digital transformation agency with a blend of latest technologies like of cloud computing and data analytics and mixing it up with marketing side as well so for example if you have a legacy software uh, let's say it is built on dotnet particularly or maybe on java as well and you would like to shift it to web app which can be accessible via mobile as well as via desktop or laptop or any electronic device which has internet connection we back you on that apart from that we also help you to promote your brand to create your brand as an identity in front of visitors or customers that before they buy your product they already know about you or the service as well very quick example of every almost everybody have seen youtube ads right so few of the competitors of yours may be running the ads but why is it like for some of them ads perform pretty well and for them for some of them it doesn't perform at all so such deeper insights we also provide to our customers and accordingly they grow eventually now coming to the question which uh, is being asked legacy software consider it like those chunk of codes already built in or hosted on your desktops which helps you to do your task but then there is a glitch it's a monolith why now when you start integrating your legacy software to third party apps there is a challenge comes into picture you if if it's a desktop oriented uh, legacy software and you really want that your sales personal should be using a mobile app and he should be filling out filling in the data of the sales as well it's near to impossible until unless some imaginate imaginary imaginary invention happens which helps this integration as well so a legacy software there are a lot of examples of mainframes as well uh, ibm 2 for example from db2 perspective so a legacy software is a stand alone application which helps you to perform the activities but brings a lot of challenges as well thank you i have you. one that you you could you address also the cost of operation since uh, you you are a consultant so i'm pretty sure uh, people come to you and say kitna mileage deta hai to any of uh, you rishi yeah, uh, I, i would like to add sure to two cents of my and this so a very important thing which we really have to understand is cost of development may be a bit higher but what about the maintenance right what about the security operations which you handle or particularly the operations of running the infrastructure as well so at the later time of a uh, stage or uh, later stage of your operations of your application on prem or on cloud eventually you should be looking after the factor that for a longer period of time is it going to save the cost or is it going to increase the cost for the legacy software how the cost will be increased eventually consider the very very crucial example of how many i don't know how many of you are mainframes architect at the moment right so mainframes developer the, the number of developers of mainframes technology going to decrease eventually so there will be a shortage of talent as well the vulnerability vulnerabilities is a second challenge as well uh, if 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 any of you or i don't know how many of you know there was this attack happened recently called as log 4j vulnerability it has impacted thousands of companies millions of customers so at at the later stage if the board or the management consider the fact that eventually this modern way of dealing or developing or managing apps are going to be helpful for the company i think that is really all the board really needs to do from the development and it perspective as well eventually thank you okay rishi you. is there a is there a typical approach is there a standard gold standard for uh, uh, on how to go about app modernizing 
there are few principles which we were also discussing back then that there are few hours available for apps modernization perspective which if an, any organization follows will be very helpful so for example that there is this one hour called as rehost so what rehost means you lift and you shift your application if it is really compatible enough that it can run on cloud you 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 are done <coughs> the other one can come into picture is you are supposed to rebuild now another r so rebuild it comes into picture that they you have identified that there are certain amount of modules or a set of configurations network configurations maybe that 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 were configured in your legacy software which cannot as it is come to the cloud or other virtualization platforms available then you may have to rebuild those particular modules or the configurations then there is another r called as refactor now refactor really helps you that you have your application running pretty fine you have moved it as well to the cloud but then one of your uh, you know uh, maybe the data scientist or maybe the application developer told you that you know if we mold it a bit we can come up with another functionality so you refactor based on the need of the of the organization as well uh, there is another very important factor and that and r obviously that is replace now if you have realized that let's say for example there is a limit of mainframes can be modernized so if you have reached that certain limit that you cannot actually just lift and shift you cannot just come up with few transformations and uh, you know you host it make it as an uh, modern era app then you really have to replace the existing modules come up with a new application and then host it on cloud uh, having said that there are few more things which one can uh, you know consider and that is break the monolith into different modules and different parts which means that your application a stand alone application you divide every bit of it now when i say every bit of it what i really meant is you divide it in terms of system configuration network configuration you divide it in terms of network setup security setup data storage etc now once that is done which means that now you have chunks every available then go ahead with abstraction because apps modernization needs to be platform independent they cannot be platform dependent so to make that happen you have to abstract so that every chunk of your module or a set of modules can run independently because portability matters a lot when apps or modernization comes into picture very important factor now related to the previous question as well related to cost so when you rebuild or you utilize the already created modules with certain changes and all you save time you save cost of redevelopment as well and the very last but very important from scratch and from starting itself you should be focusing on the security part as well if you miss the security part there and then the problem arises as well so these are few factors which are uh, you know or maybe the standard path one can really follow irrespective of the industry having said that he has said so true that you know it they, it cannot be a perfect pitch for all the industries there are variations available thank you anything else that you guys would like to add i would say make uh, next gen part of your apps transformation journey that oh. will be very helpful uh, absolutely <laughs> absolutely so thank you gentlemen for for your time sharing your experience sharing your uh, expertise as well Once again, thanks for being part of uh, the Speed Cloud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Once Thank so you, much. everyone. Thank you, Nick Jen.